accent is my weakness. Hey guys, this is Melinda. Welcome back to Mass Effect Andromeda. We are gonna talk to Curly. Sean. I have unused research data. Okay, cool. Let's go this way first. Terminal. Let's see what we have. The prisoner. Let's see. Claims Vold. Uh, Gara. Marks. High pain tolerance, even for a spy. For interrogation session and still no usable data on the cat. Sentenced to death by Sloan Kelly. Salarian. La Certa, a representative of the charlatan, committed suicide before final sentencing. Tried to bypass mandatory tax, sentenced to three broken fingers. Ooh, wow. Is that the crime? Wait. Sorry, I just saw 1861. <laughs> Date of birth, 1861. Okay. The hell was happening in 1861 on Earth? We still don't know alien exists, huh? I mean, do we now? It's bad. Katus, I caught two more recruits rifling through the stock. We need locks. I don't give a shit if it sends a message of distrust. I don't trust them. Three crates of good ale have gone missing this month alone. One of these assholes is to blame. We might all wear the same colors, but these rookies aren't the same caliber as you and me. Okay, 325, 46, no, 42. Damn it, I'll start again. You know, if you need quartermastering skills, you might want to ask Vetra. He's pretty good at it. Bum Door is locked. Keep your hands where I can see them. Up your butt. I mean, okay. Now that is a door. I'll have lipstick Focus on. Focus defenses here and here. The cat have been quiet for too long. What? Ames? You must be Sloan Kelly. I'm... I know who you are. So, what brings a Pathfinder to our humble port? Van Terev. Name ring any bells? What's he to you? And don't lie to me. Weakness? That accent is my weakness. I wasn't planning on liking you. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> um. Oh, God. Her accent threw me off. I wasn't expecting this. <sighs> um, I'll be honest with you. None of your business. I need him so I can infiltrate a Ket flagship. You've obviously got no love for the cat. I'm doing you a favor. Kadara is an Angaran port. They want Vendette, and I want to keep them happy. This is bigger than local politics. You don't need Ven. You need his intel. Talk to him before I put his head on a spike. Mm, should I aggro? Should it be aggro? Yeah, let's not trigger her. She doesn't, she doesn't, she seems a little bit, you know, cray cray. I can work with that. See? No reason we can't be civilized. <laughs> Should have brought refreshments. All right, we're just going to be play civil for now. And, uh... Give the Pathfinder access to the holding cells. Thank yes, you. Yes, sir. I do want to read that. Oh, shit. No. Ah, go away. I want to read the codex on her, though. 
Fox PC. Pathfinders. No. So associates? <laughs> no. No. My bad. Uh, initiative. Nexus Pathfinder. Fox PC. Planet and locations. Dara. No. I just. I want to. Freaking. No, oh, wait. Outlaws. Outlaws. Kelly. Okay. Before her appointment as director of Nexus Security, Sloan served in the Alliance but was discharged after punching a superior officer for bureaucratic bullshit. Some of the initiative's senior leadership had concerns about Sloan's temper, but former Director Jean Garson admired Sloan's passion and believed her frank attitude and resourcefulness would ultimately keep the Nexus safer than someone who ran things by the book. Sharon Tan felt differently. Relations between Sloan and the new initiative director, never, while never good, quickly deteriorated during the uprising. Sloan was vehemently uh, against using the Krogan. Against use was against using the Krogan against uh, the mutineers and took it personally when director went behind her back to make a deal with Clan Nakamore. Upon learning of the director's intervention, Sloan switched side and joined the rebellion. I mean, that's a legit reason, do though I think. Although the uprising ultimately failed, Sloan gained legendary status among the exiles and amassed a group of followers called the Outcasts. After leaving the Nexus, Sloane traveled across Helios to Kodara Port, where she defeated an invading Cat Force and set herself and the Outcast up as the ruling power of the planet. Uh, okay, how about you? This was the this was the other guy, right? Okay, like many exiles. Ray's vital screening interview and personal records were corrupted during the mutiny on the Nexus internal staffing emails. Show he was a pilot assigned to shuttle N503 callsign Anubis. But beyond that, very little is known about Ray's life before arriving in Andromeda. Since the Nexus uprising, Ray's had made a name for himself as a smuggler working out of Katara, Katara port. While most exiles on Kandara feel pressured to choose between joining the outcast or the collective to be successful, Ray's proudly claims to be a free agent and even does jobs for the Angaran resistance. Is he really a free agent? Hmm. Despite being known as a rebel reliable <laughs> as a reliable smuggler who always gets the job done, Reyes is notoriously bad about paying his bar tabs, with the exceptions of Tartarus, where it's rumored he has worked out a deal with Kian, the owner. This doesn't tell me shit. I mean This guy wants to take down Sloan, I think. And I mean, Sloan. <laughs> I, I know more about Sloan from this than this. What the fuck? Okay. Well, uh, let's take a look at the collective. Because these guys are related, right? Okay. Few verifiable reports of the collective exist beyond Qatar report. They claim the collective is a spy network of Milky Way outlaws in Angara who uses blackmail espionage, smuggling, and hacking to gain leverage on Kodara. The collective is said to be led by the charlatan. No reliable data is available on this individual's identity, but the charlatan has been quietly amassing influence since um, the Hyperion arrived on in, in Andromeda. Those who cross the charlatan are dealt with ruthlessly. Intercepted transmissions show that the outcasts consider the collective's growing power a threat to their own position. The outcast focus has shifted from harrying, harrying Nexus trade convoys to arms deal, putting them on a war footing. The collective's response has been less public, but many outcast supporters have lost their fortunes or disappeared without the trace. So, the 
collective sounds kind of scary. <laughs> the collective sounds kind of scary. Um, the outlaws. These are there. These are there. I don't. I don't care. Ooh, add he. Yeah. Uh. Outcasts. Uh. Outcasts for criminal behavior or their actions during the uprising. Exiles from Nexus is no longer welcome at the station. But yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that was interesting. Uh, yeah. I wasn't expecting to read that, but I felt that I needed to. You're not what I expected, Pathfinder. Shut up. I get that a lot. Hmm. Hmm. Keep staying on Sloane's good side, and I'll be really impressed. Did you switch sides with Sloane during the mutiny? I came over on Arknatanis. Never stepped foot on the Nexus. I ran into some Natana survivors on Havaral. They're still alive. <laughs> Must be Rix's doing. You know Avatus? We've crossed paths. Are you Sloane's second in command? She calls me her right hand Tyrion. I keep the wheel from squeaking. The Collective is making waves in Kadara Port. What's the outcast plan to stay on top? By not telling our strategies to strangers. I mean, that is fair. <laughs> you and Sloane seem close. What about it? Nothing. Just wondering what's the story there. We met on the Citadel. She punched me in the face when I offered to buy her a drink. <laughs> Seriously? No. Mind your own business, Pathfinder. Oh... <laughs> uh... See you around, Kytus. I mean, it's probably it's probably true, and then he's just ashamed that he had he just admitted it. So it's okay, it's okay, Kytus. I get it. It's okay. All right. Yeah. Funny is my business. At least I try to be. With this freaking door. Oh, it just goes outside. Yeah, yeah, no, thank you. Rules first. Uh. Don't feed the prisoner. Don't touch the prisoner. And the only thing that passes between you two are words. Got it? Absolutely. I won't cause trouble. Are you opening the door for- Oh, he turned around. I thought you were opening the door for me. So rude. All right. I'm just going to see what other prisoners are in. Jailbreak. All right. Um. God, I need, I need, get, get rid of this. How are you doing? What do you want? The Archon ship. Where is it? This a new interrogation tactic? Sloane's getting lazy. I don't answer to Sloane. I'm a Pathfinder with the initiative. The one who rescued the Moshai. I know who you are and what happened on Vold. Huh? Well, then help me. You can still make this right, Ben. Tell me what I need to know. <laughs> Making it right won't save my life. But it could save others. The Archon ship. Where is it? I never saw it. Got my orders from a Ket transponder. But you could use its frequency to triangulate the Archon's location. Do you still have it? I buried it before I was arrested. Should still be outside the city. Thanks for the intel. Don't you want to know why I did it? Why I betrayed the Moshai? Sure, if you want. Sure. Enlighten me. We're losing the war against the Ket. And still, Ephra puts my brothers and sisters in danger to protect a useless old woman. So you took things into your own hands. I made the call he wouldn't. The Archon only wanted the Moshai. I thought if I gave her up... Uh, I didn't know what the Ket were doing to my people. Well... He manipulated you, but you still betrayed... you. you. Dude, 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 
You resent Ephra, so the Archon used that against you. If Ephra was a better leader, uh, it doesn't matter. And I'll accept the consequences. Retrieve. Pathfinder, the communicator is buried outside the ceasefire zone. I suggest bringing a squad. Betra, Drac, are you back from whatever it was you were doing? Yep, our completely legitimate business deal went off without a hitch. <laughs> Benefit of bringing a Krogan along. <laughs> Tell Gil to prep the Nomad. I need to go outside the city. Shit detail? Fast travel. Yes, unlocked. Well done. But. But, I want to pick these up, man. Can I? Can I? No. I have to go pick them up. Because. And this. Fucking door. Oh god. Alright. No. There's two quests I can pick up. So I might as well do that here. You've all seen a dead body before. Move along. The charlatan strikes again. Ooh. If you would like Pathfinder, I could provide an analysis of the deceased. Oh. Oh. Wait, there's blue blood? What are you? Angaras are blue blood. I, I, I guess I didn't know that. He's Angaran. There are multiple lacerations on the face and abdomen. Another body? I don't get paid enough for this shit. There's been more than one murder. Seven by my count, but that's all I know. Perhaps Mr. Vidal would have more information, Pathfinder. Speak to Reyes about the murders. Um. I could, but I could also pick up the other quests. Flawless song. Let's. Um, I'm just thinking. Uh, I think we're gonna go. Uh, this door. Oh! My life has been wasted. Okay. I just want to. The charlatan smile. Stuff of nightmares. Hmm. I mean, I guess the collective is trying to get. I don't know if, 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 if I'm right saying that they're trying to take over from the outcasts. Like, like there's two groups, right? The outcasts and the 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 the, the collectors, collectors, collective, uh, yeah. And the collectives are a bunch of assassins, as it looks like. And the outcasts are a bunch of thugs, and just you can beat people up. Okay, um. Let's go get. Uh, sorry. Open the mop. Let's go pick up that. Let's go pick up that. Oh, I don't care. You're just propaganda bullshit. I want to listen to what the people say. And maybe data pads. Um, research then. Ooh. The docks has been unlocked. Let me take a look at this. Oh, I've seen this. Um, is it console? That's not what I want. I want to go for this. Uh, is it? Is it you, Grayson Weasley? Westler. You okay? What? Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. Um, talking might help, man. If you get whatever it is off your chest, you might feel better. Doubtful, but it's worth a shot. I joined the outcasts a few weeks ago. Kytus tasked me with collecting protection fees. Thought it'd be easy. 
But we talked to so many people. I got the names mixed up and banished someone who paid their fee. Oh. They didn't protest it? Of course, she did. But they all do. We don't really listen. Really? What the fuck? You just kicked her out. No questions asked. You don't have to guilt trip me. I thought about looking for her, but I can't risk Kytus finding out I screwed up. I need this job to feed my little brother. Our mom's still in cryo on the Nexus. He's got no one else. <laughs> nice sob story. <laughs> I'll look for her. Just tell me her name and any clues about where she might be. Remy Tamayo. She would have gone to the slums for processing. After that, no idea. Uh, the warden might know. Everyone who's banished to the Badlands goes through him. Okay, out of the frying pan. The flying pan. Um, let's deal with the, the corpse first. I want to know about the corpses. You're the Pathfinder, right? Yeah. One of your crew, Liam, already secured parking for your vehicle. She's ready for you. Cool. Thanks, Liam. Uh, I guess I'm going to the slums? Because that's where... Oh, I'm wearing it. But, um... Hmm. Okay, okay. Uh I might Oh. There's only one slot for that? Really? I can't put any slots on the rest of my armor? Okay, cool. That's fine. That is okay. Is that hello? Hello. Find the satellite thing, but I need to, um, cool, there's stuff to do. Well, let's go and take a look at stuff on hold. On hold. Evaluate Kadar for outpost. Search for supplies. Hyperion. Speak to Reyes about the murders. Okay, cool. Uh, we're going to go and do that. Yeah! A city under a city. At the center is Tartarus, a nightclub. Hey, you there. Come talk to me. I'll make it worthwhile. Okay. Delusional outlaw. What are you offering? Are you selling stuff? You're that initiative big shot, aren't you? Depends. Maybe. Maybe not. Do I owe you credits? Ah, you're a playful one. I like that. You could say I'm disillusioned with the exiles. People here can't be trusted. Sooner stab you in the back than work together. So, I got no love for any of them. They don't deserve you. Damn straight. Outlaws got innovative ways of putting stuff together. I bet a smart one like you could learn a lot from scrutinizing our, uh, stuff. You should check out outlaw tech and materials. Might learn a few things. You remember who gave you the skinny on that. Craft a weapon at the re- Why? Okay, cool. You're that initiative big shot, aren't you? Some might say that. Don't fret. I'm not gonna hit- You could- so Outlaw- Okay, you okay, let's, let's, let's- Okay. Can I check downstairs? I mean, looks like a cool place. So many things to look at. Holy crap. Um. How toxic can it be? <laughs> Uranium? I mean, I don't know. <sighs> yes, I am lost. Really? Is this a dead body? Detecting traces of sulfuric acid on the throat and stomach lining. 
She must have consumed unfiltered water. And the crates? They just stacked them on top of her? Perhaps the exiles didn't care enough to move the body. Show some respect. <laughs> I know, right? Uh... Yes. Wait, is that Liam? Why the hell is Liam here? What the fuck? What the fuck? Where's my Vetra? What the fuck? I'm taking my brother home. You won't get far. He's so high, might as well be on another planet. They're in a euphoric state. Whatever's in their system. Induces lethargy and intense hallucinations. Okay, you know what? I need to change. I need to get rid of Liam. I'm sorry, Liam, but you have to go. Move! I can't have this. Where's the door? Is this the door? Was I here? Leave, yes. Wait, why is Cora now here now? That's done, perhaps you could speak to Reyes about the murders in Kadara Port. Guarding the Tempest? The Nomad. Got some attention when we disembarked. And it's a lot more portable. Seems smart. Only three attempts to steal it so far, and one offer to buy it. <laughs> how much? What was the offer? Just so I know how much I'm driving around. Negotiations fell apart when he asked if I came with the car. <laughs> Weird. Must have been something I aimed. <laughs> Alright, I am heading off to the Tempest just to get rid of Liam. I mean, I have to deposit Liam back, you know, to his safe spot. I'm sorry, Liam, but I want Vetra with me. I will um, be right back, I guess. All right, so I tried to leave and the cutscene triggered, so I'm not leaving. I guess Liam is staying with me for now. Oh, God, Liam. Why the fuck are you here? God, I'm so mad. Yep. Yeah. Actually, can I? Hmm. Liam, can you leave? Squad mate. Take him out. Destroy. Destroy. <laughs> can I just destroy Liam? Ah, oh, I'm sad. Kind of annoyed. Um. There will always be places like this. Does. Alright, let's see. Um. I'm I'm gonna finish the murder get our report and this while I'm here or maybe not we'll see even exiles got a little steam oh maybe just finish off the murder one because there's stuff to read upstairs private room is now occupied so you'll have to find a new place to nap the gentleman whatever he asked tab is under vidal sandra Ven verner sorry if you're looking for a dance i'm off the clock was this your dream is this what you came all the way here for living in a place like this had to get away from my crazy family in the milky way my brother, Conrad, well, he's a couple of quarts <laughs> low on Ezo, if you know what I mean. Oh my now god! now I'm here and it's great. That Sloane Kelly, I want to be just like her. That attitude, her accent. She's like, hey you bastard, lick my boots, kiss my ring and then my bum. I want to work for her, learn the ropes. Then call up my brother Conrad and be all, see idiot, you're not the only one in the family <laughs> hanging out with famous people. <laughs> Right. Good luck with that. <laughs> oh, Conrad. I miss Conrad. I'm kind of glad that she's here. Oh, my God. He's the guy that's like crazy after Shepard. Oh, God. He's awesome. 
Tyrant's great. Why are you dancing in the... Okay, cool. I'm just checking out the club. Kinda neat. No, now is not the fun. Not the fun. Not the time to have fun. Because Liam's here. So, I'm just gonna finish off this quest. To call I'm drinking. And leave the bar. I'm just wondering. Criminal. Can I can I change people? Because the thing is, Ivetra's here. I'm wondering if if I get to, like get to hear dialogues. Like, you know, just random dialogues. And because Liam is here, he's ruining my moments. Fucking Liam. So, let's see. Uh, thanks for the terminal in the room. As always, you're a king amongst men. King among men. Hardly. It's not like I gave you them for free, but you're welcome all the same. See you for drinks later. Mr. Vital, word around Kazar Report is you're the man who can acquire and deliver items quickly and discreetly. I have need of such a man. Write me back if you're interested. I'm sure we can work something out. Meet me at Kerala's tomorrow night. I'd like to meet my clients face to face. Until then, please don't send any details to mail. I'll make it a practice not to leave a paper trail. All right. I have changed my mind. I do want to talk to him, but because Liam is in the way, I'm going to end it here today. And I am going to head back to the Nexus, the Tempest, I mean. Head back to the Tempest to change people and uh, cutscene, whatever, so be it. But we're checking out the cutscene next time. But anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you all for watching. Ugh, yes, cutscene next time. And then, oh my god, that's kind of cool. Cutscene next time. And then we're coming back here to finish off those two mini quests. So yeah. See you guys, see you guys around. Bye.